police arrest two northerners behind recent attacks in Imo. The Imo state police command has arrested two gunmen who are alleged to be among the unknown gunmen causing crisis in the state in recent times. The two suspects are identified as Godwin Dandaladu and Bamai Gada, according to um, Igbera TV, as the police confirmed that his operatives recovered an AK-47 from the suspects. The two men who hail from northwest region were also nabbed with military uniforms. Wow! Imo state with adjoining southeast states have been at the center of violence for months, provoking or well, following unprovoked gunmen attacks on police and other security establishments, which have led to confusion in the region. Sahara reporters on the 3rd of May had reported that policemen deployed to the southeast states were deserting their their stations and now prefer to go back to work in Mufti due to pervading attacks. Uh, it had been reported that most policemen, particularly those who are not Igbo indigents, are desperately seeking redeployment amidst fear of incessant attacks by unknown gunmen. Um, Sahara reporters had on the 19th of April reported that uh, policemen in Abia were, were, were Mufti, um, after heavily armed men in Uzwa Koli police station in the Bende local government area in a string of other attacks on other stations. Right. Um, so yeah, this is what it is. This is the news. Um, so I guess I think this sort of just... At least we now know that part of this unknown gunman is definitely northerners. At least I'm not saying because we've caught two northerners you know, behind the guise of the unknown gunmen that all of them are you know full and however we now know at least it is not ipob or esn because they would never really work with you know um a northerner to really achieve anything to be honest the relationship that they have is very skewed um but yeah at least we know that okay fine the copies that are caught are from the north not that it's, it's bad or it's good in any way however this just sort of clears hopefully because again nigeria is a very <laughs> Things don't go as planned. But then again, it's just like, hopefully, we now know that it's clear. Biafra, ASN, IPOP, they are not part of this, of this, you know, unknown gunmen accusations that people say. Because again, they were accusing, you know, or people online, opinions. Um, a lot of them are really accusing, you know, yeah. Someone says, Nam the Kano vindicated again. So the unknown gunmen are also from the north. In fact, IPOP and ESN demands immediate apology. Oh, they don't need it. They don't need it. Um, someone says, but they will let her come around to pass the buck to ESN. It is easy to give a dog a bad name than to hang it, all right? Um, just hope they will be prosecuted diligently. If, they, if it were to be the people of Southern Extraction, I'm sure they would have been shot by now, even when they are not culpable. Very true. Um, so again, this is what it is. Um, but what standards do we have? Again, at least we know, yes, the name of IPOP is cleared. However, they don't, pff, apologies, come on. I think ESN, they are bigger than that. They really are because, again, it's not like as if the integrity that they have is more than what this country has ever had. So again, it's just like, what apology do they need? That's not what they need. Apology will not get them Biafra. So again, of course, we know that okay, that's absolutely unfair. Um, but again, as Nigerians, we we make the decisions. We will decide what we want. Um, someone says so. They are now northerners. No plan is as just a Harry Potter's caption. Hmm. Exactly, and I think we need to be very sensitive to the way news is given to us because we can, we are sometimes in a way nudged to consume certain contents that. Might not necessarily be accurate. For example, someone says, So now they are northerners, not Fulanis, as you, Sahara reporters, always caption. Again, it might not be, it might be, you know, coincidental. However, you know, words are very much important. When you say northerners, we know that, of course, it's northerners, it's very much diverse. So when you say Fulani, we are now specific. Specific to a point where we are now confident, you know, what some of them are not even indigenous Nigerians, as some would say. Um, somebody says they are profiling 
this profiling will generate a lot of hits today nonetheless they should be dealt with as criminals what will they do that is the question we might know what is right to do but then in a system that does not even apply the law when it comes to the basics of just responsibility and integrity on both parts of the leadership and you know the followers it's, it's just uh, what do you expect somebody says thank god they have not targeted them um the truth can never be hidden we are beginning to see those behind unrest in the southeast but then again it's just very what kind of country do we live in because if you react or you defend yourself you will be in trouble if you don't you will still be in trouble so what should we do because again you can't just say that no one should defend themselves because the country has proven not to defend us again we've been so self-sufficient and i always repeat this that you know we provide our own water electricity we provide everything for ourselves as nigerians and then because we've let the government go away and take you know things for granted and we just let them get away with a lot of things now we are required to provide our own security do you know how crazy that is and we've started but then i don't think we understand the severity of what is going on here we might as well just not even have a government or a system of government it's crazy um someone says they attack nationwide no regional or tribal wars attackers are made up of people from every part of nigeria so no surprise bad leadership gives rise to this um i get what you're saying but let's be specific here um when it comes to the southeast we know that it's definitely like against ipop esn and of course we understand do your research. The history within Nigeria and Biafra has never been a good one. Um, so yeah. Also, you making a general thing sort of undermines and undervalues what you know you're gaslighting southerners and telling them what is not. They know what they're experiencing. So for you to say that, okay, fine, you know, I understand you're trying to be neutral, but then again, let's be specific because things bad things are happening in the north. But then again, first of all, it should be the responsibility of the government to fix it the insecurity that's going on however the people themselves do not defend themselves or try to or protest against what what is happening there so again it's just like okay fine let's be specific here the government is not even trying to defend the northern part of Nigeria. however we put so much energy and effort in trying to combat esn who are literally helping them do their jobs by chasing um herdsmen away and again because they've been effective at doing it, maybe the Nigerian government or police force, army command, maybe they're salty. So yeah, I mean, it's what it is. Put what you think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.